And still on the organized labor, the took to the streets of Lagos, specifically through Obafemi Awolowo Way, down to Oke, opposite the State House of Assembly, in protest for the current economic hardship the people of Nigeria are going through. Galaxy News correspondent Lebby Joseph tells us more in this report. Leaders of various affiliate unions of Nigerian Labour Congress, civil society organizations, including Joint Action Forum, JAF, came together to show their grievances in a peaceful procession singing different songs condemning policies of government which they term as anti human. Labour leaders want a quick reversal of some policies promulgated by the Tinubu led administration, which have further compounded the social economic woes of the people. The President Tinubu has the responsibility, according to section 2, 61 and 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999, as amended, that he shall deploy the resources of this nation. To serve the largest number of our people, not small interests. It's not fight for democracy to come and impose hardship on our people. Yes. We did not fight for democracy in 1993, 1999, and beyond, so that we can die. <laughs> it has been said, even by those who have removed the first subsidy, that the problem with first subsidy is corruption. And that the tiny minuscule elites are the ones benefiting from it. Yes. So why punish the masses of the Nigerian people? Look, we see what is going on across the sub West African sub-region. Military coups are taking place from one country to the other. Why do you think this is happening? At the background of this, the root cause is misgovernance. So it is not about threatening you know, other countries where coups have taken place that you're going to deal with them. It's about ensuring that even in your own country, that you can provide for your people. The renowned human rights activist, lawyer Femi Falano, who was among protesters, says government needs to at all times be mindful of action which could be inimical to the well-being of the people. He says there are several areas which government can look into to raise more funds to make life better for Nigerian citizens. The IOCs are owing Nigeria $66 billion, $62, 62 billion international oil companies. Are you with me? Therefore, if you collect that money and have submitted a letter to the government that we can collect six pound two hundred billion dollars, if the Lagos State government is ready to work with us, we can make this money available to the government. The Lagos State Chairperson of Nigerian Labour Congress, Hagner Sassi, said government must do something urgently to ease the suffering of workers and the entire Nigerian populace. So, aside from the increase in the minimum wage that our national bodies are asking and demanding from the federal government, we are also asking that before that uh, wrap up of the minimum wage. We are asking My for subsidy for natives. Immediately. Because it has become imperative that the government of Lagos State should come to our aid quickly. People are dying. Government officials led by the Lagos State Deputy Governor, Dr. Obafemi Amzat, received the letter that contained agitations of labor unions on behalf of Governor Bajide Samolu with her promise to look into the content and act accordingly.